Hello, this is What's Up With Your Principles. I'm Mr. Fee and this is... Miss Ralston. You want me to start? Absolutely. All right, starting with a huge thank you. As always, love to depend on our community for things. So thank you to the community for putting together the Garlic Festival. It was awesome to have that back in action. Huge thank you to the many students who volunteered their time to go. The community service hours are important, but they also help our community have events for everyone in the community. So thank you to everyone who volunteered. Thank you to Mrs. Barry for arranging that. We hope you all had a great time. It was nice to be back in action. Thank you to the community members that came out to celebrate Carly, the 2022 New York State Teacher of the Year, at the faculty meeting, or at the board meeting last night. We had cake, you got to see her program. Um, the part that's really, really exciting is there's also going to be a plaque in the lobby. So when you come in the school for any other reason, any reason, please take a look and try to find it. It's a very great honor, not just for Carly, but the entire district as a whole. So thank you everybody for that. Also want to give a shout out to the seniors in senior seminar who have our green cafe up and running on Wednesday mornings. Faculty and staff are loving it. It's been delicious. So thank you for your work with that. It's a great little addition to our Wednesday mornings. Okay, I call myself update guy because I try to make sure that they give everybody the updates as I know them. The first update with the dress code and I want to make it very clear. At Cuba Rushford, we allow midriff, which means um, the bottom of, basically between your pants and your shirt, you can show a little bit of skin. What we do not allow is crop top. So if you have a cut shirt that just exposes your midsection, that we will ask you to change for that. That is a violation. But if just your shirt and your jeans don't quite touch, that to me is considered midriff or us as a district, so you are allowed to do that. So I wanted to clearly state um, if there's any discrepancies, what that looks like. Next, please remind your kids or students if you're watching it, earbuds, hats, and phones are not permitted during the school day in the hallway, okay? So hats never, but earbuds, if a classroom teacher allows you to, same thing with phones, but in the hallway, we should not see earphones and earbuds and phones. What we're seeing, parents, just so you guys know, is kids like to keep uh, the new ear pods, just one of them in, basically at all time, and they like to tell us that it is off. Um, due to a variety of reasons, it is not allowed in our school in the hallway. So please make sure, kids, that you are taking them out of your ear. Two important dates. Three important dates. You want to do the first? Take it. Three important dates for you to remember. October 6th is a half day. Cuba Rushford Elementary will be dismissed at 11.15. Middle High School dismissed at 11.30. So that is Wednesday, October 6th. Uh, half day. Dismissal at 11.30. On Monday, October 11th, no school. Christopher Columbus Day. So no school on October 11th. And then on October... For the record, on October 10th, the Bills play the Chiefs, Chiefs Sunday Night Football. Stay up with your kids. Go Chiefs! I mean, go Bills. Okay, so make sure Sunday Night Football, you are watching Bills first Chiefs. And on Thursday, October 14th, Middle High School Pictures. So that is also homecoming week, a lot happening that week, but remember, Middle High School School Pictures on Thursday, October 14th. So half day, October 6th, no school, October 11th, picture day, October 14th. Sticking with homecoming, um, our homecoming week, Miss Ralston just said the dates. I wanna let you guys know what's going on so you can plan in your calendar. October 14th will be the parade downtown. It's also where we will, be, we will reveal who is on the homecoming court. Dun, 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 dun. It is also the Powder Puff game. They're playing for a trophy. I'm excited for it. You get your class here there. It will be there forever. And we end with the bonfire. Then October 15th, Friday night football. And then October 16th, there will be a dance from 8 to 11. If you are bringing a guest out of district, please make sure that you get the form that then gets signed and returned to us. And that will be from 8 to 11. I said it, but I guess I'm saying it twice. Excellent. Tomorrow night, Thursday, September 30th, we have a family information session here, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock in our middle high school library, put on by our school psychologist, Mrs. Taylor and Dr. Lefevre, helping your child manage anxiety and depression. So if you are interested in that, please do come. Again, that's Thursday, September 30th at 6 o'clock. And then October 20th, Monday, October 20th, I believe it is, but I might have made that up. October 20th, we have pasta with a purpose. So with that, we have games, we have pasta, we have 
uh, baskets that you can win. So please uh, RSVP to that. Let Mrs. Taylor know if you'll be attending so we know much how much pasta to make. October 20th is a Wednesday. Wednesday, October 20th. Wednesday, October 20th. Thank you, Mr. Fee. Come for pasta with a purpose. Bring your family, eat, play games, have fun. We try not to be fake news on the station. Um, <laughs> okay, this goes into a thank you and then a procedural thing. Thank you to the parents that reached out to us and they said, hey, when my kids are on quarantine uh, and they're not allowed to come to school, you guys need to have a plan in place. It took us a while, so again, not only thank you for telling us, thank you for your patience with it. So, Absolutely. what is our plan? Our plan, it started on 927, is core classes will allow either live Zooms or a flipped class, which then allows a period for your student or your kid to get in contact with the teacher. So if that is not happening, please reach out to the teacher, but starting 927, so it already started, your child has the ability to either live zoom into core classes or have a flipped, or have a flipped um, sent to them, video sent to them. I do want you guys to note, or I do want to note, this is for quarantine kids only. So only if they're not able to be in the building because the health department tells them. It is also important to remember with this, they are still responsible for all work if they Zoom or not. Stuff will still be sent at Teams, or through Teams. In addition, if you do not have internet, please let the teachers know. We will work that out as well. And I want you guys to also know the policy. The day that they return, they have two days to turn everything in before it becomes a zero. So I know that was a lot right there to process, but we just wanted you guys to know that we do have a virtual option, if you will, for kids that are quarantined just for that short amount of time, and that's what it looks like. And the protocol is once they come back into school, they have two days to make up tests, to make up quizzes. So uh, if you have any questions with that, please reach out to Ms. Ralston or myself, but please start with the teachers. Three reminders for our students. First of all, backpacks. If you get back from BOCES and you come to lunch, remember your backpack has to go to your locker first. It cannot come to the cafeteria. And backpacks cannot go to your ninth period of class. Your backpack stays in your locker until the bell rings at the end of the day. You get your backpack and you go to the bus. So don't take your backpack to your ninth period class. Don't take your backpack to your class and leave it outside the door. Don't leave your backpack in the hallway. It stays in your locker until the end of the day. If you arrive late in the morning, you cannot just walk in and go straight to homeroom. You have to make sure you sign in at the receptionist desk with Mrs. Brown. So please, if you are arriving late, make sure you sign in at the receptionist desk. And finally, no food can be ordered to school. Okay, you can bring your, your own lunch, you can get lunch in the cafeteria, but during the school day, we cannot have foxes delivering food to you. So please make sure you are not ordering food during the school day. And that's everything that we have for updates with the exception of today's life lesson from Mr. Fee himself. Thank you, Ms. Ralston. Do you guys know the happiest animal in the world? A goldfish, because the memory is only 10 seconds. So when you make a mistake, don't dwell on it. Keep it in the past and live in the present. A little Ted Lasso there for you. Self-plug, great show. Self-plug. All right. <laughs> Hope you all have a great week. Talk to you soon. See ya.